I'm late joining the Super Blitz Arena. There are 58 minutes left. Let's play Zerk and let's play. Let's play a Gambit every game this tournament, starting with a Danish Gambit. Uh, Danish Gambit declined, but I'll try and still let my opponent accept it. Yeah, keep taking pawns. Keep taking pawns. You can take this or this. I'll play knight g5. Uh, knight e5 will be a good move from black. Uh, knight e5. And knight e5, bishop b3. And then maybe f4 with tempo. Also queen b3 ideas. d5. Giving me back a pawn. I'll throw in a rook check. I'm going to have a queen check too. Hitting this. C6 defends both the, the king and the knight. C6, D6. It gets weird. C6, D6. Oh, knight. C6. Free knight. Um, free pawn. Okay. I like the position. I like the, the number of people in the chat. Music Man, Johan. Johnny Franchise. Whoa. Let's be careful. Let's take another free pawn. Everything in life is free. BX, 17, V Matix, 1. Welcome back. Schwalbenchess, welcome back. Shout out to Schwalbenchess, who very, um, what's the right word? Very generously created a Wikipedia page for me in English and in German. I should make a wiki command. Um, what to take with? I can take with multiple things. Probably Rook. Oh, there's going to be a Smothered Mate. Wait for it. Wait for it. Rook takes f7. Queen takes f7. King h8. Queen g8. Rook takes g8. Knight f7. Mate. Ah, oh, I have to play it on the analysis board just to have some satisfaction. There we go. Okay. I'm satisfied. Back to tournament. 170. No time to waste. Unless it's for a smothered mate. Um, I have a lot of catching up to do. That was my first game. Leader has played many more games than me. Chess lover Sanjeev, welcome back. Okay, ja check. Let's berserk again. Let's play e5. Oh, every game a gambit. Um, I'll gambit my h-pawn. Somehow. Let's play d5. I'll gambit something at some point, eventually. Or I'll just... <laughs> um, what to do? e4 is a move? Let's play bishop c5. Maybe g5, g4 to trap the bishop. Combine with queen f6 to mate on f2. Yeah, I'm gambiting this pawn. Not sure what benefit I, I get if white takes. Hmm... Maybe this and this. Ooh. Not sure what to do about that. Let's just develop a knight. And undevelop a knight. And probably redevelop the knight. Um, maybe I should move up. Get, getting ready to push. I got out of the pin. Hmm. That's a move. Let's play this move. I still want to do this g-pawn push. If white ever castles, I, I'm dreaming of mating on g2. Yeah, because now the knight's pinned to the rook. Play f6. Always play f6. It's not queen trade. Now the queen will be a target. I want to play knight d6. Why don't top level players play gambits? Um, they're probably too afraid. It takes some, some guts to, to play gambits. Also, sometimes gambits are dubious at, at top levels. Okay, I want to play this move, but not lose a bishop. Am I trapping a queen? The queen's trapped. Because I'm controlling these squares, this square, this square, this square. This square, this square. And there's this move. That could actually be a strong move. Hopefully my opponent's not watching the stream. Hmm. 
Yeah, white might actually be better here, but no one say anything. Okay, free queen. Um, knight takes b4 coming. And plenty of time. Chassbran, welcome back. Threatening the fork knight. Let's play this move. The triple skewer kebab. I mean, d5. Okay, let's take a knight. Threatening the rook. Now threatening the knight. Also threatening the fork. I can draw arrows. The triple fork. Ah, okay. Arrows are failing me. Um, let's save the queen. Pinning the pawn. This pawn's hanging. Let's take a check. Now the pawn's pinned to the, the rook. Okay, who's here in the chat? We have Faba Oxy. We have Check Raise Flops. Hello to the future YouTube people, that's right. Future YouTube people, you can like, you can comment, you can subscribe. Back to tournament. Okay, where am I? I don't see me. Oh, there I am. Top 100. Let's go. Not sure how many more games I'll have. I'll probably have more coconut water than games this tournament. Exams are coming. But yeah, I'm, I'm more important than exams. All right, let's berserk again. Gambit time. I'll play a Stafford Gambit, hopefully. Oh, my opponent playing a Gambit. Let's play the F5 counter Gambit. Whatever this is. Oh, this is going to be really bad. <laughs> this is going to be really bad. Okay, opponent didn't play queen h5, which would have destroyed me. Um, d5 is a move. Queen e7, maybe this move. Pin the knight, so I don't lose a pawn. Queen h5 is still a move, but then g6. My rook's defended by my queen. I mean, white could force a queen trade, which is probably what's happening. Yeah. Okay, so we'll trade stuff. I'm going to try and win this pawn. It could be defended by f4. Hmm. Okay, I'll take a pawn. Oh, this pawn's hard to defend. Hmm. Takes, takes. Doesn't really do that much. I should save the bishop pair. So calculating b4, this, this, d5, oh, but then this. So maybe I'll castle first. Hitting f2, threatening d5, removing the knight so I can win f2. Still play d5. Maybe knight c4 coming. e3 is kind of weak. Bishop f5 also coming. Um, what to do? Bishop d7? Oh, knight c4. Looks pleasant. e3 is a gaping hole. I'm down a pawn, but I have comp. So I have two bishops. I have open e-file. I have better developments. It's um, it's like I play the gambit. Okay, now my knight's attacking stuff. I have d4 in the position. d4, d4, knight e4. I could just develop bishop. d4, knight e4. Yeah, let's throw it in. The bishop will come to e6. Whoa, knight a4. I'll still put my bishop there. If we trade on b6, the a file will become open. Hmm, what to do? Let's play king g7, g5. safe move. g5. Not yet, maybe later. g5 doesn't make too much sense. Okay, I want to take and attack. Let's add pressure. Oh, this pawn's hanging. But, oh, g5 now? g5, just for cover. It loses a pawn, but I'm gambiting. I don't know why I gave away g5. Ah, what to do? 20 seconds. Okay, let's take that. Knight f4. Defending g6. Let's see, five ideas. Never mind. Ah, uh, not pleasant. Ooh, free rook, very pleasant. 
Very, very pleasant. Okay. I'm taking things. One pawn at a time. Both these pawns are hanging. I'll take another pawn. Whoa, it's subs! Whoa, Cover gifting subs! Thanks so much, Cover. Maybe it was because of G5. I'm dedicated to Cover. Mate in three. One, two, and... Oh, just... Wait, no, that's not mate. Ah, this still takes work. Ah, I have two rooks versus one rook. Eight seconds. Okay, everything's defended at least. May coming. <laughs> I got opposition. Endgame strategy. Let's do this move. Ah, that's annoying. Maybe this move. Yeah, I'll trade rooks. This will be nice. Oh, wait. Opponent tricked me. Mate in next move. Okay, that was a weird game. <laughs> Got the job done. Thanks so much, Cover. I think my opponent may have mouse slipped at some point there. Uh, Cover gifting subs to Ritterid, er, Silly Mash, Mr. Saban, Joe Cool Music, and the Last Seven Samurai. Last Seven Samurai is a grandmaster. Probably my. Uh, my highest rated subscriber now. Thanks so much again, Cover. I wear shoes, welcome back. Hofnagels, welcome back. Zevelkan, thanks for subbing. Abot, one, two, three. Let's berserk, let's play e4, and let's gambit. Let's play a, a new gambit. Um, Belgrade or Halloween? Let's play Belgrade. Haven't played Belgrade Gambit in a while. I had that one YouTube video winning in 12 moves. That's gonna be hard to repeat. What is this move? Let's take a pawn. If knight here, then all four knights in the center. Unlikely though. Okay. I like the position. Controlling the center. Uh, let's... What to do? I mean, there's queen e5. Kind of wins a pawn. Take that. Rook at fate. Wait, I take this? Am I going to win in less than 12 moves? I might. Wow, look at this position. It's so beautiful. Oh, I'm not... This is move 11. I have to win the next move. Maybe opponent will be nice and resign. I mean, c4... Let's defend stuff. Mainly in the knight. I want to play bishop h3. I need one more straw to break the camel's back. Let's play this move. Queen h3. I'm controlling the dark squares. The main getaway squares. Uh, bishop d3 looks nice. Okay, it's not a 12 move victory, but it's something. I mean, the king's on e6. One of the most centralized pieces for black. I think I'll castle and just improve the position. Wow, that's a fork. Yeah, let's take a rook. Queen e7, not played. Let's check. I'll take a knight. A castle. Okay, I'm up a, a lot of material. I'm up a knight and a rook. And a pawn. Mm, always play king b1. Oh, I had a free pawn. Okay, that will be... Ooh to do. Bishop d6. Queen f4 ideas. Let's take a pawn. Okay, now the e-file is open. This bishop is a dead piece. Uh, queen h7 looks nice. Uh, black can trade queens with queen f5. But maybe not. Okay, this is too much fun. Uh, where's a mate? Have to bring the other rook in. If queen h8, okay, we're gonna trade queens. Uh, let's mate this way, I guess. <laughs> the bishop's still stuck. I'm gonna try and control the getaway squares. B3 for good measure. 
play this move, and then this move. Okay, back to tournament. Belgrade, success. Z Nation, welcome back. Andrea tried to raid me and accidentally raided the wrong Eric Rosen. No! Andrea, to learn from your mistakes. Don't make the same mistake twice. There's another Eric Rosen? Maybe there is. Okay, 20th place, 16 points. I am... Oh, I'm halfway to the lead. Let's play another Gambit and Berserk, except my opponent's high rated. Uh, what to do? Let's, um, let's accept the Gambit. Ooh, what is this? Okay, this is probably slightly dubious for me. Um, I have to deal with it, though. Queen b3, queen d7. And then knight a5, I think, is the move? Yeah, hopefully this works. Uh, takes, and then this move. Or no, this move. Let's get the king safe. Oh, e5 coming. e5 not played. It's still a bit uncomfortable. Let's try and trade queens. Bishop e6 to come. Oh, it's still uncomfortable. I mean, I could accept... Very bad pawn structure. And a very bad bishop. Oh dear, takes, takes, knight d7 here, takes. Knight d7 immediately. <laughs> My pawn structure is going to be so sad. Um, but I have two bishops. I have double pawns, isolated pawns everywhere. Ugh. Oh, what to do? Let's try and avoid vomiting. Uh, let's play king g7 first. I don't know what to do here. I have 35 seconds. Just have to move quickly. Quickly. Uh, let's play this move. Um, B2 is kind of hanging. Should play A4, A3. Let's keep pushing. Mm, keep pushing. Hey. Thanks for the bits, Kenny. I have a Connect 4 emote. Connect yes. Emote. You're welcome. Okay, I want to go from behind, win the pawn, and promote my pawn. Oh, opponent being tricky. Uh, I guess I have to take it. And then let's attack the pawn. Also threatening this. Let's take that. Threatening this. Hmm. Attacking the knight. Whoa, more subs. Thanks, more subs. Um, it's gonna be tricky. Don't flag, don't flag, don't, don't flag. flag. I, don't I know, flag. I know, I know, I know. I'm trying. Okay, I wanna play this move next. Also this move, maybe. Uh, 14 seconds. Strong player, too. Play this move. Ooh, probably not a great decision. It should still be winning, but it's going to be tricky. Knights are very tricky in the endgame. Okay, at least I have a clear plan. <sighs> Keep pushing. Okay, bishop blockades. 92, king there. Hmm. Still tricky. I think that's a safe pre move. I want to play this next. No, we drew. Ah, oh, I think I was winning that too, but I had like a second left. Okay, uh, new game. Let's play the Black Redeemer. Oh, what is this? My bad. Okay, I'm playing whatever this is. Um, a Reverse Walrus, maybe? Reverse Walrus. I can live with this. 
My g5 ideas. Uh, d5 is a move to retreat. I would be happy to lift my rook if opponent wants to take the knight. Um, that's probably a good move. I sat more stuff, like on g6. Maybe queen, queen f3. Looks nice. Yeah, why not? Trying to provoke f6. A black and castle. g4 doesn't work. Oh, this is just a really bad position. Where's my play? I don't see my play. Let's take a thing. And then rook. Okay, rook b1. Be king f1 soon. I berserked too. So material deficit, time deficit. Um, let's play bishop. I guess bishop f4. Am I losing more material after e5? I might be. Play queen g3. A nice square for the queen. Align with the king. e5, good move. Looking for tactics. I don't see tactics to move back. Probably back again. Oh, this is really bad. Oh, I have a threat of this, maybe. Bishop takes h5, takes in 96. Discoveries. If takes here, I take here to attack the queen. Opponent being safe. Uh, maybe queen h2 idea, g4. g4, h5 ideas. My berserking automatically, yes. Every game berserking. Also every game gambit. Oh, this is looking really bad, but... Okay, I got g4 in. I want to open up files. Like, my pieces are all kind of looking passive, but they're doing things. Hmm, it's a move. Takes, takes. Hmm, I'm not seeing a solution to this. Is queen h3? No, let's take. Okay, well, at least open the, the g file. Some bishop f4 idea. Hmm. I can take this thing. Okay, I'm winning back pawns at least. Uh, let's take this thing. Rook g1. I want to play h5. Just make the bishop go away so I can get to the king. Ah, forgot about that. Oh, this is really bad again. <laughs> okay, at least I'm winning something back. Let's take this thing. To move the king to d2. The rook somewhere. Oh, my time is bad again. No! Okay, opponent missed a fork. slightly uncomfortable. Hmm. This is very uncomfortable. To go for a dirty flag. Ah, ah that's so sad. There goes all my rating. <laughs> I tried my best. <laughs> tried my best. Did I miss something? Maybe I missed something there. Man, so many Fs. Okay, I'll try and make up for it. Am I anywhere close to first place? 
I'm actually... Oh, I lost a second place person. Alright. I just want one Stafford Gambit. Just one. Okay, we'll have a... A Four Knights. I'll play this kind of dumb opening, the, the Schmid defense. Idea Queen E7, pin the knight. So many Fs. Yeah, opponent had a few ways to win that, uh, that previous game. Okay, we're having something. Queen C5 next. Assuming, whoa, bishop takes. Look at this move. I think I'm winning a bishop now. Opponent's gonna try and like pin me. Play bishop e7 to f6 maybe. Bishop e6 ideas. Okay, threatening this now. Opponent's probably gonna play this move, bishop e3. Could still do this. Let's do... No, let's keep the queen. Nice, very crowded e-file. Not sure what's going on there. I think the plan is this in castle. Oh, there's bishop. There's bishop d4, but then queen g5. I want a castle. It's like a totem pole, yeah. Can I have the d5 square for this bishop? I still can't castle, but that's okay. Maybe I'll push the h-pawn in conjunction, and I'll target g2. a4, kind of random. We're both kind of doing our own things. Let's do this move. Now the goal is to do this and this. Whoa. Play this move. Now the goal is to do this and this. My king is still relatively safe. It's safer with a pawn here rather than the pawn, like not on the board. Whoa, okay, I can take. And bishop c5. And then take again. Anything better? Not seeing it. Now I'll play queen g3. I want to play h3 next. White noise, welcome no back. Clippers. clippers, like the people who make Twitch clips. Clippers. Oh, there's rook a3. Don't play rook a3. Don't do it. Ah. Told my opponent not to do it. Okay, I still want to play h3, though. Ooh, free rook. I also play h3 first. The rook's is gonna be stuck for a little bit. g3. Let's push a pawn and take a pawn. Yeah, the rook's pinned. Now I can trade everything. I can still legally castle both ways. Maybe? I haven't moved either king or rook, but eventually I'm gonna have to move something. Let's move this way. Oh, threatening this. Really no way to stop it. Okay, back to tournaments. If I have any chance, there's 29 minutes left. 25th place, 21 points. Leader has 35 points. I need to berserk and win out. It's gonna be tough. Some fancy potato. Welcome to Twitch. Congratulations for catching a stream. Only play b4 if, if white plays Sicilian. Yeah, a3. This is something. It's a wing gambit. Uh, let's take this. Push a pawn. White noise. Lol, NBA team, just leave oh. the game. Ah, isn't NBA team called the Clippers? Huh. Did not know that. Probably should know that. Let's play Queen H5. 
It's already getting weird. Maybe I'll just keep pushing pawns. F4, C4, G4 coming. Bring the queen back. Play c3 and g4, winning connect 4. You guys can use the connect 4 emotes. Yeah. Okay, g5, let's go. Just for cover. And then c4, I'll win connect 4 again. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? f5 maybe? What is this? Let's play bishop, bishop a3, to use my other pieces. Video game pianist. Thanks for the raid. Appreciate that. If you're just joining, my pawns are kind of grinning. A nice little grin shape. Uh, let's keep developing and defending. Maybe knight d2 coming. I'll take with rook attacking this pawn. And I'll take a pawn. Oh, there's this move. Does that work? No, that doesn't work. Uh, let's take... And I want the knight to come here someday. Let's start with this. Such a weird position. <laughs> My king feels unsheltered. Let's move off the, the diagonal. Hey, going to go mad. Thank you for the sub. Um... What to do? F5? Ah, my, my smiling structure is going to be ruined soon. Okay, let's take first. And then F5. Takes, takes. Whoa, that's a move? Let's play... Oh dear. This move. It's getting weird. Takes, 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 takes. Stuff is happening. My king is becoming more and more exposed. Mm. Still playable. My knight is my my main shelter for the king. I have this move. I could castle. Let's castle. Never too late to castle. Attacking the knight. Getting out of the pin too. Ah, black copying me. Let's play knight. Oh, let's take a knight. I forgot the knight was hanging. Searching for mating ideas. This move, defending. I want to play this move, and then later this move. I have 12 seconds. Why am I so low on time? I guess because I berserked. Let's play this move. I might have five ideas. Queen F3 ideas. I hang D4, but that's okay. Oh, I hang E4 too. Wait. Ah. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is good. This is really good. <laughs> okay. Back to tournament. Let's go. 18th place. 24 minutes left. 24 tournament points. Have to catch up by 15 points. Whoa, 2809. It's gonna be hard to catch up to. So maybe I'll I'll try and finish top three. Maybe. Light C8. Thanks for the bits. Evans Gambit, please. LOL. Okay. Just because you say LOL. Evans Gambit time. Please berserk back. Please be nice. Ah, not even an Evans Gambit. Okay. What is this? Um. I don't know what to do. H4, H5, H6 ideas. D4 ideas too. Well, this is reasonable. I'm discouraging this because I have G4. <laughs> Maybe rook B1. Open file for the rook. Oh, gambiting a pawn. Okay, that's my gambit for this game. Ooh, if bishop here, I can take takes and then here. I think Agadmator showed this once. Please play bishop g4. Let's have some fun. Knight c6 more likely. Or that. 
Oh, I have rook takes b7 as a threat. That's a nasty threat. Play h6. That'd be nice. Yes! Oh. It's like a voodoo doll. Okay. Bishop b5 coming. If bishop takes here, I win the queen by force. So what's happening? What is black going to do? Oh, I know what black's going to do. Oh, I didn't know. I thought black was going to play a6. Um, can I get away with this? There, there, there. If I play bishop e5, my rook gets trapped. That's a problem. Like here, here, it takes, 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 here. It almost works. It doesn't quite work. How do I justify my rook on b7? Should be five. I'm not seeing it. I guess I'll just retreat all the way back. It's kind of sad. But I want a pawn. I open the file. Bishop b5 still looming. Um, I want to play d4, bishop f4, target the queen. Black has a couple checks, but then it interferes with the e pawn. e5, wow. Play d4. Bishop b5 next. Bishop f4 next. e4 most likely, I guess. Play bishop b5. Taking queen g3. Some rook b8 ideas. Bishop f4 is still coming. Actually, takes maybe I'll play rook b8 first. I'm not sure. Some perpetual somewhere. It also takes queen e5 check. It's interesting. Bishop e7 takes rook f8 and then takes here. The time is leveling out. Wow. Uh, let's start with this move. Rook b8 will come later. This bishop's tied down to the pawn. This pawn can't really push. My h pawn is doing work. I can take a pawn. Ooh. Let's move the back, move the bishop back. Now black lost casting rights. Play this move. I could sack a queen, take my queen. Oh, do I take here? Oh, but then king e7. Yeah, let's take the bishop first. Okay, I wanna move my rook somewhere. Let's move the queen here. Um, let's play this move. Okay, my rook has moved somewhere. Mission accomplished, kind of. Let's check. 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 And mate. Oh, what a game. That was a fun game. Lots of fun moves that game. Favorite move that game is probably rook takes b7. Also, prompting my opponent to play h6. Okay, Zabber. What to play? I still want a Stafford Gambit. No one, everyone's playing d4 or f4. Okay, I'll play a, a Falkbeer Counter Gambit. This is fun opening. d3 is a main move, bishop c4 is a move. But okay, now I'll control the diagonal. I'll play bishop f5 first, defend the pawn, and prepare knight g4. Let's take on Passant. Um, queen d7. I still want to play knight g4. I'm 13th place. Ooh, that's a move. Can't really do much about that to play this. Try and keep initiative. Queens are off the board. Um, mm, yeah, that's annoying. We're trading a lot. That doesn't even work. Let's play this move. Okay, a lot of things came off the board. Let's play this move. Attack the pawn. Castle, bring the rook here. B4, I'll move back. Already below a minute. Play this move. Play this move. There's still a little bit of compensation. I want to play C5. 
I'm gonna say I wanted to play knight g4 too, but never mind. Play rook b1. Yeah. Okay, we're trading more stuff. It's kind of sad. I'm still trying to fight. Only down a pawn. Let's play a4. Good move. Play this move. Going for counterattack. Kind of destroying my own pawn structure, but I'm attacking this and this. Okay, I have a fork back in the game. Um, I take with rook, probably. And then this move. I'll sneak in from behind. Yeah, okay, now threatening this, probably. Also this. The king's a bit stuck. The king's tied down to defending the bishop. It's very hard to stop this. Yeah, I think I'm just winning the bishop. Oh, not yet. But eventually, like, white's going to be in Zugzwang, right? I think white's going to be in Zugzwang. Everything's pinned. Tied down. I'll walk my king this way. <laughs> the rook can move back and forth. That doesn't really help. If pawn here, I take. King here, I take. It's a funny kind of zugzwang position. <laughs> That's so random. Oh, white's just stuck. I do have 23 seconds, but should be enough time. So I'm going to win the bishop at some point. If king takes c5, I'll take with knight, I think. Oh, this is so nice. Okay, now I'll win the bishop cleanly. We'll trade. I'll take a4. And push the pawn. Okay, back to tournament. Let's go. Top 10. 7th place. Berserk. Pro Master. No one's berserking back. Okay. Let's play my, my line. This might not be a gambit, but... I'll try and make it fun. I want to play a6. Maybe white wins a pawn. Takes, takes, takes. No, I would attack the rook in the end. Uh, a3 is a move. Bishop g4 a move? Bishop g4 there, there. Looks like too much fun. f3 takes, takes, takes. Takes knight d5. Looks kind of cool. Um, Let's save the bishop, but I can't really save it so effectively without losing a pawn. Mm. Yeah, let's just do this, and then probably this. Okay, I'm gambiting a g-pawn. There's my gambit, or even this pawn. But if takes this pawn, I think I can take here and then take here. If takes here, I play this, and then maybe win g2 later. Okay, opponent going for it. Hmm... I want to take on e3 for some reason. Let's start with this move. Threatening this, because of the f pawn's pinned. If this, it's weakening to the light squares. Probably queen h5. Okay, time to take on e3. Forking g2 and d1. This is nice. This is very nice. Hey, there's a nice emote. Why nice? Shout out to Esserman. Always having nice emotes. So queen d2 takes... Oh, rook d8 coming. This is more nice than I originally thought. I take that. Okay, let's start with this. Because queenside casting was illegal. I want to take on f2 and then bishop d4 c5. Here I can take on f2. Maybe c5 first? Not sure. No time to think. Let's take here and then trying to calculate rook f1. There, there. I mean, this looks very nice. Play knight d1, why not? Invading the back rank. There's a cool mating idea. Queen. Oh, wait, where does a queen move? Queen g3? 
If queen g3, there's a very cool mating idea, I think. I'm attacking the queen. <laughs> Just on the back rank. Queen d2. Can I take that? Can't quite take it. Um, oh, I wanted to do something cool. Let's do this. I'm not winning material. Oh, man. Guess I have to take that. Oh, this is going to be tough. Here goes all of my active play. Now we're in an endgame. I'm going to play b6, e5. Pawn count is equal? Or no, I'm up a pawn somehow. That's slightly unpleasant. Oh, opponent tricked me. Opponent tricked me good. Oh, that's so sad. Liked my position too. Okay. Any hope? Probably no hope. Yeah, I resign. Ah, such a... There is a really cool mating idea. Um, in this position, after knight d1, if queen g3, I can take on c2. And then rook d1 mate. That would have been so sweet. But yeah, queen d2. I guess it neutralizes everything. I wanted to take here. Idea of takes rook d1 mate, but bishop takes. I guess there was just nothing. It's sad. Yeah, knight d1 not the best move. Probably should have played c5. Okay. Let's try and finish strong. Yeah, c5 was a, just a more direct move. What do I have to do? I have to do a lot of things. Okay, I'll try and finish reasonably. Next game, I bet queen. Like queen sack? Coconut? Yeah, this is coconut water. Not exactly tea. Evans Gambit? I don't even play the Evans Gambit. Okay, I'm, I'm Evans Gambiting against Bishop E7. Uh, what is this? A4, I guess, to play B5, Bishop B2, maybe. <laughs> this is like a Evans Gambit declined with A6, A4 included. Peter Balkus, thanks for raiding. Appreciate that. Shout out to Peter. Um, let's play this move. Because F7 is attacked. And how does black defend? Can black defend? Knight H6, I can take it. This should be E6, I take it. Okay, let's take here, queen a2. Looks very nice. The queen has a long distance relationship with the bishop. Um, I should probably defend. Play this move. The threat is maybe bishop g6. Funny idea. A bishop here even, just to clear f7. Bishop g6, anything better? Um, he's going to play d5. Maybe I take first, but then takes. Play bishop g6. d5 takes, yeah. Oh, knight f7. There we go. Okay. I was looking for mating ideas. I wasn't looking for forking ideas. Oh, this is a fork. And I should win the rook pretty cleanly. No castle. No time for castling. Too busy winning rooks. Oh, this is a move. Okay, good thing opponent didn't play that. This pawn's pinned to the mating square. Hmm. Let's challenge the knight. 93 is a legal move. Okay, lots of trades. I think the bishop wants to come here. Let's play e5 first. <laughs> now, maybe this move. Ideas of taking. Yeah, I'm up a full rook. Wow. 
Um, king. It's king f2. I think it's okay. I'll play rook e1 next. Queen here, I have bishop here. Uh oh. oh I'm still okay. Yeah, let's the knight, the knight is useful defending the, the bishop from the corner. And I'm threatening mate. The queen a three idea <coughs> ideas. Hitting the king. Um what to do next? Uh let's take a bishop. And now g4, why not? I just want to move the queen away from defending the g6 square. Queen d4 coming. Okay, well, I'm up a full rook. Seventh heaven. A5 positional. I want to play this next. This is looking nice. Have to get my pawn up to help out. Also, I should blockade this pawn. Maybe win the pawn. Okay, first I'll start with g5. And then this move. Oh, let's take this thing. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe time for a game or two more. Trying to move up. It's Berserk again. Oh, I'm in sixth place. Okay, I'm in, within striking distance of third place. Hmm. I don't know what bishop before, before is, but... It looks aggressive. Let's take this. E D6. Wow, opponent playing aggressively. Okay, I want to win the E5 pawn. Or play D6. Yeah, pin and win. Threatening to take and then bishop d4. Okay, so I'll win material. Don't have a mating attack, but this is good enough. I want to play e4 next. Yeah, why not? If takes, I'll probably take back with pawn. Yeah, the bishop and knight are hanging. I'll win one of them. My goal is still top three. It's going to be difficult. Hmm. One safe move. Maybe g6 next. Just make some luft. Mmm, tricky. Play this move. Ah, oh, my rook! I hung a rook. Smart car, thanks for subbing. Ah, oh, opponent's smart enough. Let's defend everything. G6 coming next. Ooh, tricky. What to play? Made this move. Giving away material, but going for mate. Oh, that's probably not the best idea. Okay, I'll force a queen trade. That's a winning king pawn ending. Oops. <laughs> it's 
some questionable pre-moves there. Okay, back to tournaments. Oh, okay. I'm I'm close to passing Olosi. Berserk again. I don't know why I'm berserking. Trying to induce my opponent to berserk. Knight C8, thanks for the, the 200 bits. Okay, this will be interesting. I'm going to play E5. Knight C6, I think Bishop B5. Queen, okay. Yeah, we're just gonna have a standard position. I'll play b4. Hmm. This is actually an interesting line. Knight takes d5, pawn takes d5, bishop takes a1, queen takes a1. Ooh. Okay, I'll play bishop e3. Play knight b5. Your rook, rook d1. The queen's gonna move to the, the d file, or the b file. Play this move. I do want to attack. Unfortunately, the, the tournament time is running out. Really not much time to work with. Okay, my plan is bishop h6, f4, f5. Yeah, f5 coming. If e5, I think I'll take. Play f5. Hey, Favre! Whoa, Thomas Thrainson, gifting subs. Thanks so much, Thomas. Okay, I have to focus on the game, but I'll read the sub names afterwards. Let's play queen g5 to put as many pieces as possible. Um, to attack. Let's play bishop c4, defending and attacking, threatening this. Oh, there's beautiful Botas Gambit, which leads to mate. It's kind of a, an oxymoron, but um, okay, I can take. Am I sacking a queen? Not quite. Let's play this move. I want to do this. Ah, 16 seconds left, not enough time. Can take this. Takes, takes. Oh, this is complicated. Let's move back. Whoa. Ah. Takes, takes. Okay, now it's, it's no longer about the tournament win, it's about just winning this game. It's gonna be very difficult. Let's play this move. Oh dear. There, there. Play this move. King h2. Okay, now I have the battery. Hmm. I'll play bishop g5. Okay. Lots of things attacking the knight. Yeah. I can take the pawn. It's complicated. Okay, let's take that thing. Bishop h6. Oh, uh, let's take this thing. I'm sacking everything. I hope it's mate. I really hope it's mate. It's not gonna be mate. Da. Let's take this thing. No, let's. Oh, that's not even working. I'm actually sacking everything. Uh oh. This is not going to be good. <laughs> oh, let's get some Fs in the chat. That's so sad. What to do? I tried. I really, there is a beautiful line in that game. I was already like dreaming of it before it happened. Is it this position? 
Yeah, there's this position. If knight takes knight takes e4 looks attractive. Then I would sack a queen and then just mate. But opponent played good move. Bishop takes e4. So it defended. And my ideas weren't working as well here. Of course I want to take, but the bishop was in the way. I had rook f5. Oh, but then still bishop takes. Knight's pinned. Anything for white? Hmm. Stockfish not impressed. Toggy, welcome back. Knight c8, thanks again for the bits. Um, Thomas Feinson, gifting subs to Favre, Diamond Cutter, Young Rolf, Magic88, and Ajax Supports. Thanks so much, Thomas. Um, that was a rough finish. Maybe that will go on YouTube. I mean, there's still some, I think, some YouTube-worthy content. YouTube people, if you're watching this in the future, um, you can leave an F in the comments, too. And, uh, and I'll see you in the even far-off future. Okay, let's, um, let's try and recover. Kiyomi, long time no see. I've been doing well. I'm... I'm currently trying to get on a nocturnal sleep schedule. It's 12.33 a.m. Um, starting tomorrow, this time is basically the time I start working for the, uh, the Grand Chess Tour India event. So I have to train myself to stay awake for like the next at least seven hours. Okay, you guys can stop with the Fs. That was enough Fs. I feel respected, so thank you. Um, and let's also give some congratulations to the confetti winners. Alex, sir, wow. Um, yeah, strong, strong rating. Nikitos and Alosi, who I was not able to catch. So close yet so far. My berserk rate? Did I berserk? Wait, what did I do? Yeah, I berserked a hundred percent. Probably not the best for my rating, but it was fun. Yeah, I'm not too disappointed. I mean, it's it's a virtual trophy. Would have been nice to have, but you win some, you lose some. You berserk, you berserk some. What to do? Yeah, what to do? Um, I could take challenges. I could play blindfold chess. Tell me what to do. I could show openings. Uh, Loka Logos asking for a spicy fried liver. Could make my own tournament, but I just finished the tournament. Making my own tournament, that would be a little stressful for now. But sometime in the future, I'll, I'll get around to making my tournament. Blindfold, blindfold, GeoGuessr, please. The only person to say please. I would like to do a simul, but um, there's still some weird bug. I think I'll get... Where's my blindfold? Blindfold somewhere. I can get a blindfold. Just play normal. I could do a mix of things. GeoGuessr will come later. Um... Play Carlson. If someone could summon Carlson, that would be nice. Esserman can beat me left-handed in chess or tennis, or both probably. <laughs> Arm wrestling definitely. Okay, what's Geo Guesser? Someone use a Geo command. Okay, I'll be right back. Um, keep telling me what to do, and I'll return shortly. Blindfold play viewers, left-handed. I could try and move the mouse left-handed. Ooh, that's difficult. Okay, let's not uh, let's not do that. Um, yeah, let's play a random person. 
Chest noobs. Oh boy. Casual. Um, I'll do one blindfold, one non-blindfold. Let's get some, uh, some voice speech. Try and practice my typing. Let's play, um, let's play a D5. Play some Scandi. Knight F6. Yeah, let me turn down the volume if I can find it. Knight C3, I'll take on D5. Knight takes D5. Yeah. Queen D5, pre-move. Yeah, this is it's a pleasant opening, if especially when white doesn't know the theory. Queen takes D5. And this is already preferable for black. The queen is, is well placed in the center. Play bishop g4. Bishop g4. Pinning the knight. Tagging the knight with both the bishop, bishop and the queen. E2. Bishop e2. I'll play knight c6. Knight c6. And the the plan is to to castle probably queenside. Long castle. And then eventually play e5. Short castle. E5 or e6? Not sure. E5. E5. Ideas of e4. Ideas of bishop d6 as well. H3. H3. Let's play h5. It's a go-to. Fishing pull trap. Idea if pawn takes bishop, pawn takes pawn. Open the h-file. Have some fun. So white's a bit lagging with development because uh, pawns on d2 and c3. They block the bishop and knight on the queen side. H takes g4. Wow. Opponent accepting my gift. H g4. H takes g4. Knight h2. Knight h2. Okay, so my g pawns attack three times. The knight, the bishop, and the queen. Play f5. F5. Defending the pawn. Creating a mini D3. pawn chain, d3. So it's time to develop the bishop. Probably to d6. Bishop d6. Just aligning with the knight. Like the rook on h8, the bishop on d6 are coordinating. They have a focal point. Bishop takes g4. Whoa. So white sacking back. The sack back. Do I even want to take that? Or do I want to play e4 and just make things insane? Problem with e4 is bishop h3. Yeah, let's take f g4. Wait, f g4. F takes g4. Queen takes g4, Queen king b8. Check. King b8. Now, what's happening? What just happened? Queen I still have a... g7. Wait, I have a pawn on e5, queen on d5, a queen on g7, opponent being somewhat greedy. I think I'll play e4. e4. Unleashing the bishop, attacking the d-pawn. Oh, wait a minute, I had rook g8. I had rook g8. g2 is the target too. I'm so focused on h2. But e4 is still pleasant. E4 also opens up my queen to come to h5, which could be somewhat devastating for white. D takes e4. Wow, d e4. Bishop h2. Bishop takes h2 check. Check. Oh, there's a nice mating sequence. I think. King h1 and then... King h1. Yeah, king h1. Bishop g3. Bishop g3 check. And then rook h1 after king g1. This is nice. I'll sack a rook. There's a few different legal moves for white. Okay, rook h1. Rook h1 check. King takes h1. Queen h5. Queen h5 check. And queen h. Wait, I have to make sure. Queen h2. 
King G1. What? Queen H. Wait, where's the two? One, two. Wait, now I'm scared. Queen H2. Queen H3. No, 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 no. No. Oh. Take back? Please. I don't know if they'll offer to take back. Are you serious? I forgot the difference between the two and three. Oh, that's so defeating. Sorry to my neighbors if I made a loud noise. Opponent mystified. Opponent so mystified. Did the game just stop? No. What do I do now? I have a bishop on g3. Bishop d6. Bishop d6. White, 2 minutes 21 seconds. Black, 3 minutes 45 seconds. I just lost my strongest two pieces, my rook and my queen. I had maiden one. Bishop g5. Bishop g5, rook f8. Rook f8. I think the goal is to play... Do I have any hope here? Oh no, my queen. No, it's so bad. That's an actual Botez Gambit. It's a blindfold Botez Gambit. Rook a, d1. Rook a... D1? Maybe 5 I guess? Wait, do I have a knight? Knight E? Knight E5. Five, yeah. Wait, so the pawn is the pawn from G2 went to H3. Hmm. So I only have a knight, bishop, and rook left? That's so unfortunate. King G2. King G2. Hmm. Play B6. B6. My only hope is like time, I guess. White, one minute twenty six. Okay, seconds. that's promising. Black, three minutes twenty six seconds. Let's go. Rook takes d6. Oh, see? Oh, there's tactics. Good move. Well played. Rook f5. Rook f5. Where's the queen on g7? Knight's on e5. Bishop's on g5. King's on g2. Rook's still on d6. Rook d8 check. Oh, the bishop defends the rook. Okay, king b7. King b7. So I only have rook and knight to work with. This might be my only blindfold game. Bishop f4. It's so frustrating. Bishop f4. Knight f7. Knight takes f4. White, 1 minute 2 seconds. Oh, okay, I'm making progress. Black, 3 minutes 11 seconds. Rook f8. Rook f8. Okay, rook f4. Rook takes f4. Rook takes f7. Rook h4. Hmm. e5. King a6. e6. I'm trying to remember where the queenside pawns are. Does white still have a pawn on d3? That's not good. King a5. That's really not good. Queen g5 check. Queen g5 check. Oh, the whole rank is open. King a4, King a4. I guess. Queen takes h4 check. Oh man. 
king a5. King a5. E7. B5. E8 promotes to queen. B4. Queen takes B4 check. Oh dear. King a6. Queen e b5 checkmate. Oh, that's so sad. Checkmate. That's so sad. White is victorious. Hmm. That wasn't rated. Okay. Knight c8. Thanks for the, the sympathy bits. Queen h3. I knew, like, I knew there's a the squiggly key. Look at this keyboard. I was waiting for you to take back. Oh, you're waiting for me to take back. No, like I I made extra certain that like I was pressing two, but the squiggly key existed before the one key. I would show it, but it's like yeah, maybe people can kind of see there is a squiggly key under the escape key. Anyway, that's so unfortunate. Queen H3, King G1. <laughs> it was such a beautiful mating idea check. too. It was so beautiful. Standard. Rosen rage. Yeah, I should break something. No, I'll I'll resist for now. Um, maybe I'll put that on YouTube. I'll very much reluctantly put this on YouTube. Blindfold Botez Gambit. Checkmate fail. We can get more Fs in the comments. Okay. What to do? Break your keyboard. That would be... That would be one approach. I think I'll, I'll hold off on breaking anything. Yeah, let's um... Let's avoid blindfold for a little bit and let's play a random person squiggly bits mm. squiggly bits okay what to play oh this is rated let's have a let's have an instructive game tell me an opening to play first time watching the stream man welcome to twitch what to play? Let's play a King's Gambit. For the King's Gambit people out there. I know people like King's Gambit sometimes. Idea is... Hey, Tagi. King's Gambit. Yeah, Tagi's a King's Gambit player. The idea is to remove this pawn and give Black a false sense of confidence. Nate Kapetsky is excited. Let's go, baby. Okay. Arena King's Gambit. That's, uh, I think that's something else. Okay, let's play this. Now this is already very nice. So just to explain, the idea with Bishop C4 is to try and induce Queen H4. So uh, after king f1, I can very nicely develop with tempo. Uh, bishop c5 um, is just asking for d4. I'll play knight f3. I'll take back on f4. Feels like every time I play king's gambit, I'm getting like the, the most ideal development. Isn't queen h4 good? Um, I'm not entirely sure. Like, objectively, I've, I actually don't think it's that great. Because after king f1, white's development is just too strong. I forget the best move. Like, best move at some point, I think, is d5. Okay, so now the... the um, idea is to play rookie one if black takes a pawn i 
like the queen here. Wait, wait, which queen? Hopefully my queen. This queen's a... It's a juicy target. So after I take here... Might be bishop g5 ideas. There's knight d5 ideas later. Have you ever played King's Gambit in over the board game? No. Never caught on. Not even like as a, a surprise opening. I'm trying to think like the most ridiculous opening I've played over the board. Really not sure. I mean, over the board like tournament chess, I stick with something. Usually something reasonable. Okay, let's just take the pawn first. At some point I'll play king h1. And then knight c3. Knight d5. King's Gambit is not like the most popular opening at high level. Um, at the very least, there's there's a good number of ways for black to, um, to equalize. Whoa. This pawn's slightly endangered. Knight d5. Hmm. Why bishop e3? With breaking the pin. Why are you playing a 1500? Because I, I accepted random challenge. And I just picked someone at random. 1500 is probably like the average rating on Lee Chess, right? People lower than 1500, people higher than 1500. Hmm. What to do? Now the pawn's being attacked. Okay, let's defend and, and essentially unpin. Something weird is happening with Streamlabs OBS. I have to like refresh the chat or something. Like not updating. Ah, there we go. Okay. Problem fixed. Biscuit Fiend, welcome back. Thanks for subbing for two months. Alright, let's take towards the center. Could have taken with Rook. I like the pawn formation. I want to play King h1, Rook g1. Attack along the g-file. What country? Canada. I had Canada in GeoGuessr. It was yesterday? Two days ago? Very recently. Have you ever played the Sveshnikov over the board? Um, like the Sveshnikov, like Evgeny Sveshnikov? I actually have. Um, I played Sveshnikov in Latvia, and I was white. I played d4 to avoid his Sveshnikov. I just got crushed. The game's on YouTube, actually. I think there's a photo of it, too. Let me try and find it. Flicker. Sveshnikov. By an album from Lafia a few summers ago. Ooh. Okay, it's time to attack on the queen side. Which means... What to start with? I could take. It's a little bit too too insane. Let's play a4 first. Hey, here's... Yeah. 
Here's me against Feshnikov. This was back in 2017. Um, and yeah, there was, there was someone there with a camera and a tripod uh, from the YouTube channel Rapid Chess. If you type in my name and Sveshnikov into YouTube, you can find um, the video evidence of, of how I got slaughtered. But in terms of Sveshnikov opening, uh, it was part of my repertoire when I was rated around 2200. But I, I didn't keep it in my repertoire for too long. I found it like difficult to beat lower rated players with. Like shortly after Smeshchikov, I, I switched to uh, to Taimanov. In the same tournament, I played Smeshchikov. I also played Shirov. Shirov also destroyed me. I have a picture. Shirov. Okay, the picture is kind of blurry, but Shirov was winning. I get, like in 12 moves or 11 moves he was winning very early in the game i just botched the opening okay let's rook lift i want to play rook b3 why is this feshnikov so popular anything carlson plays will become very popular it's just uh the nature of of openings okay so i'm aligning with the knight pawn and king what is this Feshnikov? It's a variation of the, of the Sicilian, where black plays early e5 and weakens the d5 square. It's an opening that's more based on peace activity, um, despite being flawed positionally. It's interesting. It can be double-edged, but there's lots of ways for white to just kind of get easy draw, play safely. Also, there's lots of dangerous lines, too. Play bishop, align with the king. Usually a good idea to align your pieces with opponent's king. Any favorite lines against Smith Mora? Um, I think the very first time I encountered Smith Mora, I could take this too. I encountered Smith Mora in a tournament. I played d3 because I was too scared to accept it. But um, recently, I, I like to play the line where you accept it, and then you play like e6, knight c6, queen c7, and you go for a mate like very quickly with knight f6 to g4. But there's there's a few reasonable lines against Samora for black. I mean, most GMs probably play knight f6 on move 3. Ooh. I'm so tempted to just sack to remember this isn't like dirty blitz games. Have to find a reasonable sack. And taking. I should probably just save the rook. A like quiet move. Keeping the pressure. You like my rook on f1. You just like my pieces, which are like so bad and not active. There's so many more pieces to like. These pieces are all doing something. Okay, so I could take. Well, let's move back. G5. I don't know if I'm in the mood to play a grab. G4 is a little bit. a little bit out there. Um, I'm currently not available for, for online lessons. I've been, um, I've had a very hectic schedule uh, recently. I'm gonna have a very hectic schedule like coming up, Grand Chess Tour event. Well, what is this? Wow, opponent being tricky. If takes, takes, it's almost mate, but I have this move or this move. I could just take here. Yeah, let's just take here. Now the pawn is hanging, which would win the queen. This bishop's hanging because the pawn's pinned. Also, the knight's still hanging. 
So basically everything's hanging except the rooks. Yeah, in order to play a Sveshikov, I would need someone to play an open Sicilian. Alright, let's take... Let's take this way. Yeah, maybe a slightly thumbnail-worthy position. Wow, I have discoveries. Oh, I could queen sack. This is a nice move. Wait a minute, this is a really nice move. Botez Gambit for double checkmate part three. <laughs> oh, there's so many queen sacks recently for double checkmate. That came out of nowhere. Thank you to my opponent for allowing this to happen. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe that will go on YouTube. I don't know how focused I was that game. I'm showing pictures of Shirov and Sveshnikov. I'll probably throw this on YouTube. YouTube people, hope you enjoyed that. Double check mate. When the Botez Gambit works. Mm hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. Because <sighs> earlier it didn't work. That blindfold game was, <laughs> was disgusting. Good game, yeah. Geoguesser. Oh, I should play a few more chess games. Random person. Shockwave. Casual blitz. I should have a challenge. Someone give me a challenge, like what to do or what opening to play. Tell me what to do. Also, thanks to everyone, Tagi, Knight C8, Scotch, Stafford, Gambit, Sack, Sicilian Dragon. Okay, let's play. Yeah, I've, I've been saying so much about Sveshnikov. Let's play a Sveshnikov. Yes, okay, we're going to have open Sicilian. Sveshnikov coming in three, two, one. Sveshnikov. Yeah, this is the starting position of Sveshnikov. Like, already from here, I can start branching out. Knight f5, knight b5. Like all knight moves are kind of playable. Even knight e2. Um, with, like, most of these moves, there will be eventual d5. Like, here, I think bishop b4. And knight b3 is not so accurate. The best move was knight, d, knight to b5 to go into d6. And eventually to control d5 square. So yeah, it's an active opening. Like, I I attack early. I fight for the center early. Generally, white will not allow this, but it is nice when white allows this. Um, yeah, knight b5 is really the, the main, absolute main line. I think knight f5 could be interesting, though. Some tricky variation. Okay, I'll take the knight, or take with the knight. I had a book in uh, in high school on the Sveshnikov. I remember it mentioned this position. I think I'm just supposed to take. And then double white's pawns and play positionally. Yeah, if white were to play knight b5, then... I would play d6, avoiding knight d6. So here, here, this is a main line. And then eventually to play a6. And then after knight b5, d6, uh, white can play knight d5 or bishop g5. Two main moves. Play f6. Actually, no need. Pawn's defended by the knight. Let's play bishop. Bishop e6. The main goal is just to to play positionally, probably against white uh, white c pawns. 
because they're doubled, they're isolated, they're on the half open file. At some point I might play b6 just to make the knight even more sad. Uh, yeah, bold saying there is too much theory with bishop g5. There's a decent amount of theory. That is true. Too much for some people. So what he wants to take and win a pawn. I've been gambling so much, I just kind of want to sack it. Yeah, let's sack it. There's actually a weird variation. I don't know if I'm actually sacking it. I might be setting up a, a tricky trap. Takes, takes, takes. Yeah, there's a cool idea. Okay, I'll have to show it after the game. Queen e2, so doubling up. Wants to play rook d1. Hmm. What to do? I should probably defend the pawn like one more time. Bishop d6. Maybe the bishop will like go back to b8, stay on this diagonal, combine it with queen h4. Ideas later of e4, unleash the bishop. Also ideas of bishop g4 now. Try and provoke f3, create some weakness. KB Khan, welcome back. Shout out to KB Khan. Whoa, Bishop G5. That's a move. As if takes, takes. I think I have to take. What else to do? I have uh, Bishop H3. This move. It's a weird move. White's, uh, white is finding counterplay. I think I'll play this move. I'm going to go back to my, my positional play. Let's try and chase the rook away. Eventually f6. Rook d8, takes, takes, takes. It's gonna be tricky. Oh, I have a cool move here. I have a really cool move. I'm gonna move a piece to a square that's attacked four times. And maybe it'll be good for me. Look at this move. It does so many things. Attacks a queen, pawn, knight, bishop. More importantly, it cuts off the rook from defending the other rook. Queen takes e5. Did I just miss this? And white just got out of everything. Maybe I just missed it. But we, we could trade, like takes, takes, and then takes. Not so bad also take on c2 but yeah let's go for this it's my favorite chess piece it's too difficult depends on the situation I would say a pawn but pawns are in pieces
Okay, so it's still equal material. I have slightly better pawn structure because these pawns are a bit weak. I do want to take. If rook d2, it looks like it defends, but it doesn't defend because the rook would be overworked. I could still take. Takes and then um, takes. The invincible pawn is worth more than a piece. That is true. It'd be an interesting variant to have a pawn that's actually invincible. And you'd have to blockade it. Hmm. Or even like before the game, like you get to choose one of your pawns to be invincible, but your opponent doesn't know. Be very, uh, very interesting. Knight c5. Knight c5. So there's, okay, brace yourself for arrows. Takes, 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 takes. Check, queen f1. Takes, takes. 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 It's just equal. Doesn't really lead to much. Play a6. a6 included actually makes some sense. And there's queen takes b7. We trade stuff. Also, have bishop c4 here. Hmm. This is a blitz game. This feels like classical chess. It's also this move, queen g5 pinning the knight and attacking the knight twice while controlling d8 so there's no rook d8. Does this just win a piece? That might just win a piece. It's just a simple like pin and win. It's just a little bit complicated to see. So I move away from what I'm trying to attack. Um, and there's no way for white to defend the knight with either rook. So I control these squares. And there's this move, which is a fork, but okay. In this case, the pin is more powerful than the, than the fork. One pawn immovable. That's another possible variant. <laughs> you can go crazy with the variants. Alright, let's take with the rook. Probably want to make Luft very soon. Could take the pawn. So yeah, one extra bishop is, is more than enough to convert this. Thinking if I have any like, very direct approach. I mean, this is kind of a funny move. Yeah. This is so funny. So if either rook takes, I, um, I take back. I can pre-move this. Another potential boat has gambits. But really, this is just a legitimate queen sacrifice. <clears throat> and meanwhile, like, yeah, g3. It's so unfortunate for white. And this move. Attacking the rook. Ooh. Okay, let's just trade queens. I'm going for the kill. Okay. Oh, I need a pin and win emoji. That would be nice. Pin and win. Do I dare open Photoshop? Yeah, let's hold off. I opened Photoshop the other day and it wasn't working. It was annoying. Tagi. The win bits are in. 
when bits are in, thanks to a pin. Yeah, the Queen G5 pin. I'm not sure how many people want like a <clears throat> a more detailed rundown of the Sveshnikov, but um, there is a book out there called How to Play the Sveshnikov. Really breaks down the opening into what you should know. Um, of course, there's, there's probably more modern theory too. Um, but yeah, knight b5 is overwhelmingly the most common line. And then... Oh, I forgot my title is 100% gambits. Was this a gambit? I'm sure material is sacrificed at some point. Maybe just temporarily. So the main line here is, uh, is d6. And the variation kind of flows. So... Um, White wants to fight for this square, so bishop g5 is the main move, pinning, and then I believe there's this move, a6, knight a3, and then b5 threatening the fork. Now white has a few options here, white can take first, or play knight d5, knight d5 is the first line I learned, bishop e7, and then takes. And white has nice square control, but black has bishop pair. Ideas later, bishop g5 and f5. And it's a game. But it, it can branch out a lot, like c3, c4. All different moves for white. Did I try to gamble the pawn? Oh yeah, that line. Yeah, I wanted to show that line. Um, let's go back to the game. Yeah, there's a cool line here. If white tries to win the pawn, it looks like I'm, yeah, I've gambit of the pawn. But uh, my idea was to take on b3. And whatever takes back, rook d6 and pin and win. If rook here, uh, pin and win. And then the bishop's just overwhelmed. And, okay, if white took with other pawn, it wouldn't matter, I mean, the bishop's just stuck. So I think my opponent made a good decision not taking the, uh, the poison. Because this is, I mean, this is very forcing. What would you do after knight d5? Oh, knight d5. Ah, uh, yeah. Knight d5. Why am I randomly remembering a Judah Polgar game? Wait, Judith Polgar, Knight D5, Smash the Pog. This game? Huh. Vaguely remember like Judith mentioning this line in her book. Um, but yeah, with this line, there, there's two moves here black can play. Knight b8 most common. Um, also knight e7. I mean, this was very like popular during World Championship. Um, an idea is to later like get play on the king's side. I think there are some traps like. Black has to be a little bit careful, like queen a4 ideas. Like a6, maybe queen a4. I forget though, it's been a while. Like knight d7, queen a3, what's the move here? I thought there was a trap, but probably not this line. A queen a5 check, also possible. Traffle, hello. Oh, 97. Oh, maybe that's this line. I'm sure it's like it's visible on the chess database. C4, and then a6, and then queen a4. Here we go. Yeah, because I was remembering the smother mate trap. Like bishop d7, just mate. 
And queen d7 doesn't help because still stuff happens. The king just gets kicked around. So yeah, it takes and takes. And black's in, in deep trouble here. Fuzzy Garden. I'm doing I'm doing well. The day is just beginning. It's 1.22 a.m. I'm trying to stay awake as long as possible. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll be working for the Grand Chess Tour starting tomorrow. I'll be doing more... Might be doing more content actually related to Grand Chess Tour, like following the games, maybe doing some recaps, um, doing some write ups. But it's going to be a, a slightly difficult schedule because it's India time. But um, yeah, it's nocturnal life. Are you taking challenges now? I could take challenges. People are challenging me. I'll play a random sub. Okay. No, I'm not doing I'm not doing commentary. Um Who's doing commentary? It's Fiddler, Jen Shahadi, Maurice Ashley, and I believe Tanya Sachdev. Uh, he'll be commentating from India. And then there's Russian commentary too. Okay, I'm playing an Albin counter gambit. Bold saying playing Grunfeld. What kind of work are you going to do? Um, I'll be handling... This will actually be a chance for people to, uh, to engage. I'll be managing the Grand Chess Tour social media. What is this move? Let's take with queen. So Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, doing email blasts. What else? Some website content. And the event starts in 25 hours. Or 24 hours and 56 minutes will be the start of the, the broadcast. Magnus is playing. Anand. I think there's three Indian players. Vidit. Maybe Ganguly? Forget. I should really know this. But this is the last event before Grand Chess Tour Finals in London. Oh yeah, my opponent's provisional. Ooh. Only played one game on Lee Chess. Not much information. But putting up a fight. Let's castle queenside. Imagining takes. Oh wait a minute. Takes, takes. Imagining like some line mating on D1, but that's like takes, takes. Takes, 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 and then mate. I'm not playing in the Grand Chess Tour because I slightly don't qualify. Sviddler doesn't even qualify. <laughs> at least uh, at least for this event. I'm not sure if he has a wild card. Maybe at some point. Um, yeah, the problem is Knight C3 is coming. Knight c3 came earlier, I would have played bishop b4. I think I'll take. We'll simplify a little bit. Oh yeah, Ding Loren playing. Yeah, so Ding Loren and Magnus. It's already like heating up. Um, let's take. Wait, takes, takes, takes. I think that works.
Yeah, I was trying to remember if Surdler played any like previous year of Grand Chess Tour. I know he's played like the Champions Showdown events. Like some of the 960 events. Who is playing the most imaginative chess lately? Dubov. Dubov has had some really cool games, like opening preparation lives. What to do? Play queen d3. <laughs> Just offer a queen trade. Go into the endgame. It's hard for white to escape. I mean, white, white could play queen g4 check and then f5. I can start kicking the queen. Or maybe queen d7. Queen g4, queen d7 to stop queen a4. Also, yeah, Richard... Is it Rappert or Rapport? Also, very, uh, very creative player. Nice queenside development. This is my kingside. I'll take that as a compliment still. Does white want to win a pawn? I'll give white a pawn. Wow. My opponent is probably Fisher, like back from the dead. It's interesting. Knight b5? Knight b5, c6, though. Oh, but then rook c8? But then king b7. So c6, basically attacking the knight, unleashing the rook here, and then here. This should be very good. Yeah, Artemiev also. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of like strong players these days playing some, <laughs> some interesting chess. But it should be interesting to see Magnus, because he's already qualified for the Grand Chess Tour Finals. So really, like, there's nothing so much on the line for him relative to other players. So I think he can play a lot more freely. What is the best response to e4, d5 opening? Um, I did a video on this years ago. It was one of my first videos on YouTube called How to Crush the Scandinavian Defense. It was when I, like, I had just purchased a Blue Yeti mic, and I recorded the video to test out the mic. Okay, I'm threatening this. What are the odds that I, I can do this? Please let me. Wait, e4, d5? Yeah, assuming, so e4, d5? Pawn takes pawn, queen takes pawn. I would recommend knight c3. g3, okay. Let's try and get rid of this pawn. Bishop h2 would be a, a pretty risky pre-move. Especially if king h1. Okay, so the goal is to... Uh, Ooh. Interesting. There's a few ways to to simplify. I could take the bishop. I could take the pawn first. Oh, taking the pawn first is blunderous. Yeah. Let's go into this. I'll go after this pawn. I'll go after both B pawns with the knight. But overall, okay, opponent put up a, a good fight. I think made one very clear mistake taking a, a poison pawn. Yeah, so I'm going to hit the pawn or take the pawn. And there is no increment. Yeah, so generally, at least with this opening, white should usually take here. There is a famous trap. Um, I think the best move for white is either knight f3 or a3. Maybe a3 is a bit safer. 
but to eventually like do this setup b4 bishop b2 the trap is if e3 um, black is already very happy here takes I think this is a like the quickest opening trap in chess where the best move is to under promote to knight because bishop g4 you want to check and win the queen such a nice line how do you play for a win versus a catalan i could show you some preparation i can first address the, um, the scandy line too Someone was asking about this. So just attack the queen. If queen a5, um, this is a main move. If queen moves anywhere else, you just basically develop and enjoy life. But if queen a5, um, there's a cool gambit here, pawn b4. We can see Lee Chess. We actually probably see the most common moves. So most common move by far is queen takes pawn. And I recommend the second most common move, knight b5. Black will usually return to a5, defend the, the c7 pawn, because we're attacking it. Then we play bishop c4, and we can see the win percentage. When the win percentage is high like this, it's usually meaning that there's some trap, um, or the position's already good. But here, there's going to be a trap. Um, yeah, most common move, c6, which is a blunder. It's so natural, though, just kick away the knight. And then we can see, yeah, bishop takes f7 is destruction. Um, idea being that after queen h5, we align with the queen. So after g6, we, uh, we win the queen. I like openings which have traps, like which are very natural for the opponent to fall into. I think all of black's moves were just so natural until black loses a, a queen. Tobin Fur, thanks for the comments. Okay, so this is just a small introduction. Of course, there's ways for black to deviate. If black defends correctly, usually white will still have like some comp, open position, two bishops, similar to Danish gambit. Open E file, open B file. How do you approach the Taimanov when I have the white pieces? I play the London. <laughs> London is a great way to avoid any Sicilian. Yeah, if you want to turn on the engine, engine will prefer black, but I don't think it's so reflective of white's like counterplay. Um, and after C6, engine will be quite happy takes. Yeah, king d8 is best move, but after it takes, I mean, it's really bad for black. Um, to answer the question more seriously against Taimanov, um, when I was playing e4, I was playing uh, c4 against e6. Interesting move order. I'm trying to get a, a Marazzi bind. Um, if I had to choose a line in Taimanov, maybe I would play f4. Because I usually play this position as black. And um, some of the most like devastating games I've played as black have been against Shabalov. Shabalov beat me twice with this f4 line. And it was... It was pretty brutal. White gets a quick attack from early on. Um, okay, since then I've learned how to deal with it, but f4 is not a bad uh, recommendation. Bishop b5. Bishop b5 not recommended. The black usually goes for a6, and your bishop usually develops to like one of these squares. Also, yeah, there's another line I can recommend. This is g3. The bishop's quite happy on g2. And then castling, and this is a more solid approach. Um, 
But why not Rook B1? Um, kind of going back and forth between openings. Um, yeah, Rook B1 also a move. But Knight B5, I think, it's more going for this this trap. And um, yeah, Rook B1 can come later. And Flak doesn't fall for the trap. When you play bishop e2, wow, we're really going back and forth. So actually, the like one of the main lines here is after a6, white just takes and then puts the bishop on d3. And then the plan is to just attack. Actually, black might even, or white might even castle queenside too. Also a possible idea. Another question about the Scandi trap. Feels like I'm I'm simuling between opening questions. Uh, if Queen C5, we just keep attacking the Queen. Like D4 looks nice. If here, then probably D5. I mean, Queen's just being a, a soccer ball. Just keep kicking the Queen around. Gain space. Bishop will be happy. Even Bishop coming here, like target C7. It's always nice when you can kick around uh, an opponent's valuable piece with your lesser valuable pieces. That's usually why the queen and rooks should not come out early without good reason. Okay, so Bold was asking against the Catalan. Um, the Catalan is this opening. I generally like to take. And bishop b4 and um, bishop d2 most common, and then pawn c5. I can recommend look at the games of Ray Robson. Not sure if we'll find any here. You'll have to look up Ray Robson in the, in the. You can look him up on chessgames.com and look for uh, e04. He's had some very nice games in this line. Okay, trying to answer questions. <sighs> Tired. Yeah, the Alpin, Alpin variation is playable for sure. I think it's one of those variations which, if Black knows what he's doing, it's not so dangerous. Which is why it's not so common at like top levels. That's not bad for like, occasional surprise opening or, or club level. It's it's completely playable. I'll give you active positions, generally more space or like better center. One more game, please. Okay, random challenge. Chaco, rated blitz. Okay. I'm going to just try... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Experiment. I'm going to try and play the, the most popular move according to database. So most popular move is to take. And we'll see how far I can go. Oh dear, I don't want to play the most popular move against this. Because inevitably I'm going to fall into a trap. <laughs> it's so funny. My opponent's playing the Stafford Gambit. I should really like have something in mind here for white. I could play knight c3 and make it a Halloween gambit. Could be nice. I mean, taking e5 is possible. I got crushed against uh, GMD Illusion after white playing d4. I think I'll go for this. This is an interesting move. It's actually quite venomous if black doesn't know what he's doing. I think most Stafford Gambit players won't know this move. Interesting. So Black's going to take. And Queen d5 comes to mind, but also this move. <coughs> I mean, I'm already envisioning, like, Sacking on f7 or queen d5. Let's do this. 
threatening some sex or some double attack. Okay, so if I want to, I could play queen d5, also take on f7. Queen d5 looks more, um, more exciting, hitting the knight and the pawn mainly. I mean, black could, okay, black can't take here because mate. Black takes with check, just king e2, delayed bond cloud. This will be nice. Mike984 asking, interesting question. Seriously, I have a full-time job to occupy my mind, and I play chess to relax. You get bored just playing chess. I think I would get bored if I was just playing chess, um, which is why I stream chess, um, also why I teach. Like, there's different, like, facets to, to chess, which keep things fresh and interesting. I mean, learning new openings is one aspect of it. Or like preparing for players or playing in competitions. If I'm just playing with no purpose, then yeah, it can get... Um, I think anything you do in life, you, you should have some purpose or some goal behind. But yeah, chess is also a form of like enjoyment and relaxing for me, even though sometimes it's stressful. I also play Scrabble. Ooh, I should download, can I download the internet Scrabble server? Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll change this up to Scrabble. I have to download this though. Oh, wow. Oh, they have a browser thing. Let me see if I remember my, uh, my login. Man, it's been so long. Um, what to do takes. Oh wow! I could play Scrabble. I haven't played Scrabble. I don't think I've ever played Scrabble on stream. Do you guys want to see a Scrabble stream? Oh, Kiyomi will play someone in Go. I don't think I ever learned. Oh no, I learned Go after watching the um, Alpha Go documentary on Netflix. 119 Marks wants GeoGuessr. So here's the thing about Scrabble. Which kind of makes it difficult to stream. Is... I would not want to get help from the chat. I know it's like very... Like when watching Scrabble, like you'll, you'll want to suggest moves. So I could either like just not look at the chat or like have some honor system. I don't know. There's some moral dilemma there. Oh no. This is like a new interface. I'm trying to uh, figure out how it works. Anyway, to show Scrabble, like this is a, a Scrabble. Whoa, what just happened? Ah, what just happened? Streamlabs, there we go. That was weird. Um, let's do this. It's interesting with Scrabble because it, like, they have to deal with the same sort of like anti-cheating regulations as chess. I could play someone from the Twitch chat in a Scrabble game. Blindfold Scrabble. <laughs> Not sure if there's like speech synthesis with uh, with the server. Okay. So I'm up a piece. Life is pretty good. Actually, the knight probably belongs on e5. Maybe I'll get it to g5. Hit the bishop. 
Mm, pawn g5. Let's defend. What website slash program do you use to play Scrabble? The Internet Scrabble server, ISC. I think the website is isc.ro. Okay, I'm winning pawns. I've never played Type Racer. I think I streamed Boggle once. I could stream Boggle too. I should, uh, let me make a straw poll. Straw poll. Okay, we're gonna do a poll of which game people wanna see. I'll leave the link in the chat. I feel like I know what's gonna win, but we'll see what the chat wants. Oh, wow. It's cool to see the, the thing in real time. Chess is leading. No one wants Scrabble. <laughs> Some people want Boggle. Well, maybe I shouldn't stream. I was so excited to stream Scrabble, but... Okay, the poll is still young. Oh, I named the poll Scrabble. That's why no one's voting for Scrabble. <laughs> um, oh, it's still my opponent's move. Okay, um, let me make a new poll where I actually have that as an option. Okay. I'm I'm leaving the old poll to, to die. Um, here's a new poll. Okay, let's push a G pawn. Ooh, pawn chain. Okay. Um, moment of truth. Results. Oh, wow. No one wants Boggle. Scrabble leading with 17 votes. Wow. Okay, let's play Scrabble. Um, man. Oh, I have to change. Let me change my uh, dashboard thing. Dashboard. Scrabble should be like a category on Twitch, I would hope. Scrabble. Scrabble, wow, nice. Scrabble. Okay. I hope this works. The last time I tried something new, it just failed miserably with Photoshop. Um, Boggle is a word game. I can do that after Scrabble. Um, but okay, here's Scrabble. Mm, change scenes a little bit. Move my thing over here. I don't know where to put myself. Okay. Um, Seacraft, yes. And we can play... Maybe I'll play Blitz. I'll play Blitz. Let's play Jetta. And now we have letters. Uh, it's not the... Oh, wow. We have like a... Oh, we almost have a bingo, like, with re Rejoices? I could play Juice. Juice? Is Joyces a word? We're playing a version where there's no... Wait. Rejoice. No, that didn't work. Oh, I want to use all my letters here. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Conjoin? No. Um, I'm not looking at the chat. People can, can tell me what I'm missing after I look at the chat. 
Ju juiciest. I could just pass and hoping he plays an E. I'm gonna pass. <laughs> Such a bad play. Okay, now at least I have rejoices. Joyce, it's probably best to play it here. Rejoices. Okay. So we, we both start the game with using our all of our letters. I guess I started the game by passing. Um, okay, my rating, my rating's 1585. I'm playing lower in player. Trolled is a good word for the, the Twitch chat. Tickle. I want to play Tickle Monster, but never mind. I can't spell in English, so this is no fun for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Taggy. It'll be brief. This is a Blitz game. Um, let's play Mimas. I want to play something with, like, Tickler. Oh, this is Blitz. I have to move faster. Let's play Mur. Mur is a word, yeah. Okay, I have Oasis. Oasis. These are not the best letters. There's also a word. Um, it's a Hawaiian plant. Ally. Or no, I don't have the, the letters though. Need another I for that. Where, where can I play Oasis? It also helps to know the two letter words. Like AA is a two letter word. Um, I think it means lava. The the thing about Scrabble is you don't really need to know the um the definition. You just need to know that words exist. Eve. So I'm oh it's 159, man. I still have Oasis, but that that would use both S's. Uh QI is a word. I'm very low on time already. QIS is a word. But nowhere really to play it. Like what do I do here? I want to get rid of the Q. I want to use a J somewhere. Oh, this is difficult. Oh man. Oh, Stickler. Oh, I have Ticklers too. I could play QIS and Stickler. It's probably a really bad play, but... So I'm opening up the Q to the, the triple lane. The hope is that my opponent doesn't have an I or a U. And if opponent doesn't, then I can play QAT. It's a it's a cat like cat and dog. It's one of the few words without a with a Q not followed by a U. So I'm still behind, but only by four points. Okay. Uh, what to do? What to do? I'm not sure what to do here. I want to still use a J. My opponent didn't score that much. I could play YOLO as a word, maybe? No. Let's play um, something here, toy. Yeah, it really helps to know all the two letter words. I have stony. S-T-O-N-Y. Hmm. Whoa, what just happened? Keeps doing weird things. I could play toy again. Yes. Toy, or, and yet. For 21 points. I've taken the lead. 220 to 207. I have 48 seconds. But that's okay. I want to play, like... Hmm. Oh, opponent exchanged. I'm having trouble with, like, the... I don't know why he keeps doing that. Job... Uh, lib? Is a lib a word? Okay, lib's a word. That was for 11 points, so I'm extending my lead. I'm pretty sure Y-E-T-T -T is a word. Play like yet and dot. Oh, opponent took that spot. Um, I could play Joe's and slot. Snort. There you go. Okay. Um, what do I have? Is flanda the word? Flanded, fandled, something land, Madden, okay. Madden is a word. Uh, 288, so I still have my lead. 
I have 20 seconds. If I run out of time, I lose 10 points, and then I have one more minute to make the rest of my, my moves. Um, OK, I'm going to play a small EF for 23 points. F is a spelling of letter of, of the letter F. Oh man, Dex. Oh, opponent took the lead. Ugh. Can I play play something um pie maybe? This is not good. But I do have the lead. There's seven tiles in the bag. Oh, there's one blank in the bag and the Z left. I wanna play win and we next. Win for the win. What else can I play? View? Okay, we have five seconds left. I wanna play foul. Or foil. Or wino. Wino and something. I could play wino and of. I still have a lead? Opponent has a Z and the blank, most likely. Be very, very careful. I'm gonna lose ten points too very soon. Okay. Oh, maybe I, I won't lose on time. Oh, I want to play air somewhere. Air, where, where can I play air? Oh, liar. Liar can go there or... Where's my other play? Not seeing it. Okay, liar. Did I get it? I got it! Yes! One second left. It was intense. Is para a word? Oh, pair, yeah, pair, but that would only use I and R. It would leave me with an A. Okay, gain some rating points. Yeah, I feel like such a noob <laughs> rated under 1600, but yeah, that's the nature of transitioning from, from chess to Scrabble. Atrocious time management. No, it was perfect time management. I, I, I took enough time to find right moves, and I, I didn't flag. Trolled. Yeah, trolled was a, a great first move. Do I have anything with with the initial starting letters? Because I had um basically rejoices without the E. Can check. Check Joyce's. Oops. No. No profile picture. Yeah, sadly no. <laughs> Try to play next game using chess terms. That might be hard, like I, I would need the appropriate letters to use chess terms. Um, I could play, let's play the same person again. I like, uh, okay. I could play CD. CD? Suede? Suede? Is Suede a word? No, Suede is not a word. Okay, let's play CD. 26 points, good start. I got the Y on the, the double letter, and I got the double word for starting first. Prophylaxis, well I have pro. Pro is like a chess word. Professional, rapid, online. That's what the pro stands for in Pro Chess League. Uh, I could play putts. Putts is a nice word, getting rid of U and Z. Putsy. Putsy is a word, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Potzer. Potzer is close, actually. Wow, opponent bingos. Yeah, so when you use all your letters, you get um, 50 bonus points. Oh, putsy is not a word. Huh. Putsy sounds like a word. Whoops, what just happened? Close. Is pre lined? Pre lined is maybe a word? Putz? No, preline, not a word. Oh, I want to use a Z. I could play zit or zip. I'll play zip. Got it on the, the triple letter. 34 points. Prosus. Is prosus a word? No. Okay, so I have pretty bad tiles. I have out. Sometimes out can be used. Like out riding. Doesn't quite work. 
Um, 60 points to 90 points. Some catching up to do. Uh, what to do? Again, I have to move faster. I have id. Id in red. Okay, I got some I got some nice letters now. Out out something. Out trick. If there's a T or a C open. Um out. Maybe I'll get rid of the K. I'll get rid of the K. I'll just play Ka. Boggle got two votes in the poll. <laughs> Oh, that's sad. Oh, I did not want to get another eye. I mean, I have like two or something too touristic. That takes too many letters, though. Tourism. Blah. Scored a lot. Redo. Oh, this is not a good combination. Is T S a word? Yes, it is. Okay. I feel like I'm close to oh outskirt outskirt, but that's eight letters. I would have needed like an R. Um, out fair is out fair a word? Check out fair. No. Not sure. Feels like I could maybe use something fairy. I have I O U S, Farious. Probably not good. No, nowhere to put it even. Hmm. I have Fred. Fred. What to do? Of. Oh, Furrier. No. Oh, that probably takes two hours. Iyard. Hmm. Is Iyard a word? Iyard is a word. I have you. You, your, your. This is difficult. Okay, let's play your. I have a lot of catching up to do. I got a J, okay. J can score stuff, maybe. I have Java. Almost Javelin. If this was an I, oh no, I would need an E. I'm looking here to play like Joe and something. Wow. So is there any, any word I can use that ends in like AJ? I mean, Hajj is a word. Joe. Jove. Jovial doesn't quite work. Okay, I'll, I'll just play, um, it really feels like there's something close. I could play Gene. Gene is 41. Yeah, okay. Okay, catching up. I have the Q now. I have Quota on my rack. I have two Vs. Oh, there's Nova. Not sure where I could have played Nova. Hmm. Oh, this is a very closed position. Um, I'm running low on time. Just got rid of quota. I'm down by 23 points. Um, I almost have violin. Okay, let's play vit. Oh, vit, not a word. Uh, what to do? My time is running out. I don't know what to do. So short on plays. Lit. 18, okay. Still in the game. I have 8 seconds left. Terrible time management again. Volt. Uh, I'm going to fall below. So I'm going to lose 10 points. 22 letters in the bag. There's not much to do here. I could play love. Love is a nice word. And now I have blab. Blab and something else. Blab. 
blab and knob or vib is vib no let's play nib in order to win this i'm gonna have to use all my letters coming up i have nova i had nova earlier but okay, i'll get rid of the nova ah that's not what i want these are terrible letters What's in the bag? Hmm. Okay, so opponent used two, so I have to set up. Let's see. V should get rid of O and A. Um, how to do that? There's no place to get rid of O and A. Muscoa? No. Ah. It's unfortunate. Let's get rid of this. Oh, is there anything here? Something hat? Torah hat? To check, Torah hat? No. Ah. Ratata. Is Ratata? No, Ratata can't be a word. I lost a game. I lost a lot of rating points. Ouch. That was rough. I had Throat. Throat could have been nice. Volt. Okay. That was rough. Now what do we do? <laughs> Let me go back to the poll. Here's the poll. Geogasser and Chess were, were kind of tied. I, I should play one more game. Or no, wait. Share, let me share a poll again. I do want to get some feedback here. Um, let's draw a poll, wait a minute. I have to create the poll first. What game? Scrabble. Boggle, Geoguessr. Chess will not be an option this time. I think most people want Geoguessr. Let's see. Results. Ooh. Oh, Boggle's making a run for it. Four votes for a boggle, five votes for a boggle, six votes for a boggle. How about this? I'll do one game of boggle, and then we'll end with GeoGuessr. Because I haven't played boggle in a while. I don't even know if chess or if uh, Twitch has a, a category for boggle. Oh, they do. Oh, wow. Man, this is the stream is all over the place. Okay. Um, so playing Boggle, we um, we essentially can play a four by four or a five by five. Um, this is what Boggle looks like. Yeah, Twitch does have a lot of categories. So essentially, maybe I'll do one of each. With 4x4, four four, we can make words by moving adjacently or diagonally. We can't reuse the same letter. So, like, O-W-E is, is a word. L-O-W, H-U-E, H-O-V-E. Uh, this is wordsplay.net. It's a um, free site. You have to make an account. And... Um, yeah, the way it works is we start typing. For this, chat can help. If you see words that I don't see, feel free to to voice them in the chat. Also, feel free to join. There's only three players. This is usually open to, to everyone. So, okay. Uh, quins, quin, tin, tins. There's not too many vowels here. Sit, tis, snit, din, dins. It's important to remember to pluralize everything if there's an S. Lip, oh, that's not valid. 
Perp? Is perp a word? Like purple? No. So close to putrid. Hmm. Oh, quits. Nice. Sit. I already got snit. Or sit. Snit. And sit. Yeah, I already got those. Is erd? Erd? Turd? Turd is a nice word. Kip? Ilk? Lip? Zip? Um, P-R-I-Z? No. Or purr. Purr is nice. Tin. Tin, I got tin. Miss. Sin. Ins. A lot of, like, anagram stuff, too. Put, tup. Terp? No. Prut. Squid. There we go. Squid. Squin. There's no squint. Squit? Squit is a word? What? You can also like check the definitions too. So th these words were from the last game. Quip doesn't work because the I, like um, Q, U, I, and then the I isn't connected to the P. Rut? Oh, I didn't get rut. Very nice. Ilk. Oh, I have putts. Had that from the Scrabble game. Perts, is that a word? No. Ruts. Kiln. Ooh, kiln. It's easily overlooked. I-L-N is a very rare like English combination of letters. Stud doesn't work. The S is not connected with the T. Squid, I think, was already gone. And 31 points. Pupil. Oh, man. Chad is so strong. And pup. Rupee? Is rupee a word? It's spelled differently. Rupal. Running out of uh, ideas. Droop. No. Did. Did doesn't work because uh, the I isn't connected with other D. Sid. Nah. Yeah, the double D. Double P. Top with two P's. Lip with two P's. No. Oh, Ilk. I got Ilk. Sit up. Wow, nice. Just in the nick of time. Hey. Not a bad game. Tied for first. Johnny Franchise. Also playing. Well played. Okay, let's move to five by five. Oh, there, there's a little bit of time left. So we'll, we'll have one full game of this, and then on to GeoGuessr. See how many words I can get. And not much time. Uh, icing. Oh, there's the ING. ING is very, very nice. Um, sometimes, if you can make use of it. Higher. Iron? No. Hade, hades, hide, hides, tide, tides, edits, tide, tome, 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 homes, homes, toned. What else? Mosh, stein, oh, chat suggesting words. Okay. Oops. Apologies for that. Okay. Hey, top 10. And there's also teams. So. Oh, I could have a team. Let's have a chess team. Game name? Chess. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if we can outperform these people. I did go through a boggle phase, like a Scrabble boggle phase at some point in life. Haven't played this one in a while, though. Okay, round starts now. Um, oh, interesting board. Okay, we have tuna, tunas, aunt, mant, manter, no, pant, panter, tor. We have roti, rotis. Tighter is a word. Um, meter, meter with both spellings. We have meteor, meteor, no. We have time, timer, remit, emit, item, might, miter. Miter, Monte, uh, Corn, Core, Core, Spore, Sport, 
Looking for the IER combination, we have punt, punter, taunt, taunter, saunt, or saute. I have map, spam, spun, taps, rupee, no, it's in my mind from the last game. We have more, tome, patio, oh man, people recommending words, patience. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll just look at the chat. Pause. No, pause doesn't work. Pain. Um, can also mix it up. Oh, exit. Exeter. No, extra, extra something, something, something. Exterm. No. It's looking for exterminator, but it doesn't quite work. Uh, emote. No. Text, porno, uh, port, port, cone, corn. I wanted to do corner, cornate, or cornea. No, on patent. I think I got rent, rent, enter. Saturn, nice. No, a oh, Saturn's proper noun. Picture. No, picture doesn't work. Not connected. Timer got. Mixer, remix, remixer. Mm. Root. Uh, outer. Powder, pout. Pant. Pate, pater, sate, sater. Mate, mater. Some chess words. Um. On, so we can't do three letter words. Toner, toner, nice. Note, noter. Retone, spice, spice is very nice. Um, pyre, spire, spa, da. Ah. Hey, 110, not bad. Team chess, we tried. Who else was Team Chess? Johnny Franchise, nice job. All right, I think it's time for GeoGuessr. Man, this is turning into a, a variety stream. Or games, chess. I think I want to do one more. Okay, I'm going to do one more. Log me off after this game. <laughs> I like how they have that button so you don't get like too addicted. I'm do one more. Okay. Let's be competitive. Let's let's have Team Chess win, win the round. Ooh, this is much harder. So many vowels. We have corn. Good job, Tagi, for suggesting corn. We have mourn. Mourn. Two different spellings. We have moan. Uh, we have fado. I think is the word. Anything with X? N I X E? No. R O -E. room. Doer, odor, uh, corona, corona, yeah, there we go, crone, oh, mao is a word, I'll look in the chat momentarily, I'm stuck though, few something, Mood, oh, road. Mood, maybe? Mood, doom, room, moon. Oh, all the oons. Hmm. Oh, in row. I N R O. On row, maybe? No. Roo. Okay. Let's look in the chat. Kona. Dower. Oh, got the hour. Yeah, nice. Moron. Very nice. Do we have norm? We have norm. Dorm. X something. Looking for X. X ein. X ein is a word. Okay. Odor. Oh, or, odor with another spelling. Very nice. Rune. Very nice. Ruin. 
Ruin is not connected, unfortunately. Anwa? Anwa is a word. Run. No, run. I uh, have to use four letters or more. Fox is not connected. Dower, Doka, no, Kud. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of words being suggested which are just not valid. Mace, not valid. This is difficult. It's very difficult. Adorn. Adorn, very nice. Adorn, no. Acorn doesn't work. Mix it up a little bit. I have double N. Oh, we have noon and no no. No not maybe? No. Dan, Khan, Kron, Mona, Go, Faron. Oh, we have Euro. Hmm. That was my last game. Okay. Hey, top individual. Hey, Team Chess! Team Chess! Good job, people. Good job. Who is Team Chess? Johnny Franchise? And Quick Quran put us over the top. Uh, oh, there's Cornea, Inroad. Yeah, some hard to get words. Yeah, a lot of missed words, actually. I think if you click on a word, you get the definition. Like Cornwa, what is this? A part structure, bony, perturbance. Okay, interesting. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, GeoGuessr time. <laughs> GeoGuessr. Moment we've all been waiting for. Especially, especially most people. GeoGuessr. Um, I would like to play, hey, Tagi. Yeah, especially Tagi. Okay. Um, wanted to play Diverse World. Here we go. Let's do this. Let me put myself back here. Play. Oh dear. First impression. What is this? First impression is Jordan. Reduce speed. Where's the sun? Sun is in... Sort of in the south. It's hard to say though. I think we're further north. Australia, also not a bad guess. But I don't think this is Australian, like this little thing here. Africa. Africa is an interesting guess. Drive safely, end of word, road work. I mean, this English language, for the most part, definitely Australia, okay. Let's see, find some cars up here. Have to be very careful with definitely though. Okay, this is kilometers, slow, look how they're waving. Yeah, so we're, um, We are driving on the, the left side, it looks like. Oh, AZ02. Traffic solutions. Yeah, license plates are usually blurred. Whoa. What language is that? Maybe it's just English from a distance. Some weird font. Tagi saying Northwest Australia. Could go with that. Maybe the A stands for Australia. Traffic control. Hmm. It's a stop sign. Another thing up here, reduce speed. Hmm. Okay, um, 
A02 is in Shaw, Australia. Yeah, I think the general consensus is Australia. Uh, we could go... Tagi was saying northwest. Or northwest is this way. It doesn't seem close to the coast. You can just go on some road. Hmm. Like here. Not easy. Da. Ah, it was Queensland. Got the north part correct. More northeast. Not bad though. Not bad. Got the country. That's what matters, right? Okay, we have a red truck saying something. Hard to see the license plate. Um, this is a bit more, bit more popping. There's graffiti. First thought is Europe. Somewhere in Europe. Did that say 91.5? Huh. Okay, let's... Oh, is that a cop car? We just pass the cop car? Or no, it's, it's ahead of us. Hmm. Does that say Ost something? Ost something. Could be Austria, maybe. There's going to be a sign coming up. Dusseldorf! Dusseldorf! I was in Dusseldorf. Earlier this year, I was flying through the airport. Dusseldorf, Germany. I assume there's only one Dusseldorf. But where's Dusseldorf? Oh, dear. Dusseldorf is in Germany, right? It's like a airport somewhere. <laughs> Where's Dusseldorf? Berlin. I don't even know like what part of Ger Oh, here's Dusseldorf. Okay. 600 meters. So it seems like we're outside Dusseldorf. Manch. Huh. This language. West Germany, yeah, okay. What is this place? Manch something. Oh, here, okay. So Manch and Dusseldorf. So we're, we're probably between these two places. We are driving west, but we're about to curve. Driving west. Hmm. Oh, and 44 is the name of the road, which is this thing right here. So 44 kind of curves around and then goes down. Looks like it forks. So maybe like right here? Eleven miles? Oh, on this side of 44. Pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, 500 meters from Dusseldorf. Huh. Okay. I'm happy with that one. Yeah, I guess, like, seeing the road signs does help. A lot. Okay, this feels like Middle East. What does this say? Cherokee. Not sure. Man, it's so sandy. What to do? Where to go? Baghdad? Huh. Yeah, Middle East is not a bad guess. Honestly, probably would not like to live in this area. Oh, VIP. Maybe I would like to live. VIP. 
Peru being suggested. Peru could be interesting guess. Yeah, let's find some more letters. There's a sign. Okay, so it looks like Spanish. Not sure what to make of this. Oh, is there a, a place called Naza, Peru? Yeah, because Naza is a... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Is the name of the city, probably. And this could be a very small place. Oh, here it is. Where did we start? Municipal Polydad. I don't think this is a museum. Does he say a museum? Huh. Let's go back to the starting point. So we are, it seems like we're on the outskirt of town. Hmm. I'm not gonna take too long here. It would be nice to find like the river though. It seems so dry. That's some main road. Just go here. Hey. Almost perfect. Almost. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yards. Don't see yards too often. Like less than one kilometer. Not bad. We got the right part of town, almost. It's a bit further. Okay. A pretty good start. Um, let's go. Oh, rolling wheel. Oh, rolling wheel is back. Yeah, good job. Nazla Peru. Okay, we're in Japan, right? This is Japan. Yeah, no moving next. No moving will be next round. It'll gradually become more difficult. It feels like Japan. Or is it Taiwan? It's hard to distinguish characters. This could be Taiwan. Or is it China? Does the map say? It says something. So I was in Taiwan recently. And this looks. Oh, there's a dog. Oh, do they drive on the left in Japan? Yeah, they drive on right in Taiwan. Okay. All right, I'll trust Rolling Wheel. We'll go with Taiwan. Where is Taiwan? Here's Taiwan. Um, Taro so I was in Taroko. This does not look like Taroko. It's so green. Um, maybe further south. Let's go south Taiwan. Which way is this road? The road's just winding. Let's go here. Ah, it was further north. Not bad though. Good job for Taiwan. Let's move on. Uh, this is round five of five. Chirascaria and pizzeria. Mm. Pizza. Brazil. Is it Brazil? It's very colorful. There's a guy on a horse. 
smoking a cigar. It's a giant, or is it a, looks like a shofar. What is that? Asia, says Tagi. But it, this seems like Spanish. Or is this Portuguese? Not sure. Oh, Italiano. Hi, Eric. Hey, Floyd, welcome back. If you're here for a chess, I'm sorry. Is it Portuguese? Let's cross the street. Pizzas. Hmm. Could it be Italian? I think that was just an Italian restaurant. Oh, this looks like a nice kind of welcoming place. It's a hotel. Posada. I'm still not sure what country we're in. <laughs> Cabanas. Okay, tell me chat, where are we? <laughs> because I have no idea. I mean, I would guess Probably South America? Yeah, Brazil's not a, yeah, let's go Brazil. I don't know, Brazil, Brazil. Whoa, oh, further than I first thought, but not bad. It was Brazil. Okay, not bad. Summary. Had some very good guesses there. Had some less desirable guesses. This time, no moving around, but there will be rotating. But I'm not gonna like explore the streets. Not too many clues to work with for this one. Not even the sun, the sun's just in the in the west. Smell the leaves. <laughs> um, I don't know. I would guess like Central Europe. Or it could it be Hawaii? It could be some island. South Africa. Okay, chat. Australia's... But okay, there's some clues with the power lines, I guess. We're in some place that's kind of civilized. We're just kind of... Is rural. Underdeveloped. How's the road? Road seems okay. Could we be in Asia? It is very green. But there's some dead plants in the distance. Hmm. That's a tough one. Oops, I didn't want to move. Looks like Iraqi power lines. I don't think we're in the Middle East. I kind of want to go with Romania. Let's go with Romania. No one said Romania. There was one guess for South Africa. It could be anything, yeah. Let's go Romania. Let's go Brad. Um, or somewhere here. That was, <laughs> where was this? This is Mexico, this is Mexico. It was Mexico. 21 points. Let's go. Let's improve on the previous one. Yeah, no moving is not easy. 
Okay, what do we have? We have lines in the road. This could be US actually. There's a mountain in the distance. There's a truck behind us driving on the right side. Actually, probably not US. Because these circle signs usually are Europe or South America. Okay, more power lines. There is a mountain or a big hill. Colombia. Yeah, we should do a speed run after this. Canada. How's the vegetation? Plant life. Doesn't seem like Canada. Spain. I was thinking Spain. But uh, these seem like hills and not mountains. I would go with Spain. Or France. Or South America. Or Colombia. Let's go Colombia. But where? We're driving east to west. Okay, Colombia. It was Colombia. Rolling wheel. Such a monster. Okay, Colombia. Oh, something. Wait, this looks familiar. Okay, we're wearing, oh wow, they have like a extra support for the Google car. Where was that one place we had earlier? Was it Ecuador? Area 51. I mean, this is pretty desolate. Some mountains. I wouldn't mind, like, Ecuador again. Rolling wheels saying Mongolia. This really be Mongolia? No trains in Iceland. Can I find Mongolia? Yeah, Mongolia is between Russia and China. Here it is. <laughs> I've learned from the past. So there's a road that's going south and north. Here's Mongolia. Let's go, go here. It was Mongolia. So strong, so strong. Okay, I would like to, to see Rolling Wheel get this one. Oh, there are, there is a sign up there. It's hard to read. My first thought is Denmark. <clears throat> I'm not sure. It just seems kind of slightly gloomy. There's no sun to help us or guide us. Oh, the support on the Google car gave it away. Interesting. Ireland. Do we know which side of the road? Man, looks like it could be a one way. There's a traffic circle up there, which is like kind of European. Netherlands or Denmark. Finland or Estonia. Ooh. Is Estonia near Finland? Yeah, they, it is. Okay, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with my gut in Denmark. Um, let's find the traffic circle. Looking for a traffic circle. Watch it not be Denmark. Okay, traffic circle too hard to find. Let's just go... Hogsby. It was Lithuania. 
don't think anyone said Lithuania. But not bad. Just across uh, the sea. Baltic Sea. Baltics are hard, yeah. Okay. That's something. Whoa. Lots of clues. Could this be... <sighs> Could it be Taiwan again? Actually... I feel like Taiwan makes the most sense. South Korea. Oh, maybe this is South Korea. It's based on the language. Not sure though. I'm not familiar with Korean. But yeah, this this looks more Korean than um, like Chinese. Wait, quick, Kiran says that's not Korean. It's a little bit different, right? I thought Korean has more like circle shapes. Zoom in and get a sense of the alphabet. Yeah, like there's all these circle shapes. Yeah, like this, look at this thing. This little circle with line and then line, it's like that. I think. Is it Chinese? Oh, maybe this, these like symbols are Chinese. Yeah, that's the thing. Like this looks more Chinese and then this looks more Korean. Oh, circles are placeholders for characters that start with vowels. Oh. Or is it just a font? <laughs> Any more clues? Any flags? Oh, what does he say? Some English last something. Oh, t dot .tw it looks like. Something dot .edu. Wait, was I here? Wait a minute. Is this a Taiwanese like university? I went to a university in Taiwan that had trees like this. Okay, let me find it. Wait, let's zoom out. Okay, here's Taiwan. Uh, we could be in Taipei. Um, oh, where's the university? I forget what district it's in. Museum of Drinking Water, interesting. So there's a, this should be findable on the map. Um, we're facing north. So there's going to be a few universities. Shih Sin University. Another one of technology. Hmm. Looking for like the national university. Might be hard to find. Yeah, I've had a lot of Taiwans recently. I'm not sure if it's a coincidence. I was just there. Okay, let's just pick a university. I lost all of them. Okay, we'll go with this one. Ah! Yeah, not close. Wasn't in Taipei. Tough. But okay, good job for getting the country. Do we do a speed run? How do I set a time limit? Geocaster.com. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I can set a time limit.
No. Okay. Challenge run. Um, 20 seconds. Where are we? Fast. Faster. Asia, probably. Let's go Asia. Sri Lanka. Vietnam. Let's go Vietnam. Like Vietnam. Vietnam. Duh, we were we were in Sri Lanka. Who said Sri Lanka? Rolling wheel, man. I saw Sri Lanka, but I didn't see rolling wheel suggesting Sri Lanka. Okay. <laughs> okay, real quick, where are we? Uh, Czech Republic maybe, or Turkey? Probably Turkey. Turkey. Turkey, Turkey, Turkey. Let's go the city. Not bad. Got the country. Next one. Where are we? Ooh. Nice blue. Um, where is this? South America? Coast? Chile? Spain? Croatia? England? Could be Turkey again. Does Turkey border the thing? Could. Where? Oh, we're looking south? Okay, fine. Turkey again. Let's go this place. Whoa. Oh, it was Turkey again. Wow. It was Turkey again. <laughs> Such different places. Okay. Um, I feel like Scandinavia. Oh, no. Maybe UK? Something Berg. Uh, not sure about this. Feels like UK. UK, Denmark. Hundred percent Netherlands. Okay, I'll go Netherlands. Everyone's saying Netherlands. Haven't had Netherlands in a while. Also, where is... Oh, here's Netherlands. Okay, let's go here. Hey! Within 40 miles. Not bad. Not bad. I guess people knew. There are some clues. The striped traffic lights. Okay, 5 of 5. Where are we? Spain? First thought is Spain, but I'm not sure. Chile, Alps. Mm. Thailand, Portugal. This could be anywhere. Canada, South America, Peru. Oh. Faster. Okay, faster, faster, faster. Let's go Spain. Northern Spain. Um, okay, let's go here. It was Bhutan. <laughs> I don't think anyone suggested Bhutan. That was rough. Okay. Well, that was fun. I hope people had fun. I think what I'll do is I will, do I wrap things up? I think I'll wrap things up. Um, I do need to stay awake for longer, but it's been, <laughs> it's been a long stream. Everyone's saying no. Oh, I can't give in to the peer pressure. It's been a long stream. Thanks everyone for watching. If I do a poll, I'll, I'll get sucked in. Um, thank you, AV, AV, FC, Mark. And to show, to show some respect to Mark, we're going to rate a different Mark. Mark Esserman. Um, yeah, thanks Roland Wheel for just being a monster at this game. Tagi, thanks for being here as well. And everyone else, Quick Kiran, Krishna, Pulley Q. Yeah, it's time to sleep. Time to sleep. Looks like Esserman is, is not here.
waiting for Esserman to come back, but I might just have to raid the empty chair. Okay, bye people. Have a good night, or good day.